Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial on how to create coupons for your Yahoo store. So who can create coupons? Basically, anybody with a Yahoo store. It's that simple, whether you have a starter, a standard, or professional account. So that makes it very, very simple. But why would you want to create coupons? Well, first of all, shoppers are scouring the web to save money. Coupon sites rank number three as the top gaining category in November 2009, growing 33%. Plus, coupons help bring customers back to your website. Let's go ahead and learn how to create those coupons. From the back end of our Yahoo store, we're going to go underneath the left hand side, underneath Promote, and we're going to click on Coupon Manager and click on Create New Coupon. Now we're given the option between standard and single use coupons. Basically a standard coupon can be used by all of our customers, whereas a single use coupon can only be used one time. Let me go ahead and give you an example. A standard coupon can be used to give our customers 15% off, whereas a single-use coupon could be used for one special customer that you want to give 50% off. In March of 2009, we created a more advanced video on how to use single-use coupons, and the link to that video is on this page. However, for this particular video, we're just going to cover the very basics of creating a standard Yahoo Store coupon. Now for the coupon code, let's go ahead and enter whatever you may like. I like to use a coupon code though that my customers will recognize. So let's say we want to create a coupon code for all New Life event attendees. I would create a coupon code called New Life 10 and the coupon code would give New Life attendees 10% off. For the description, I'll put in something that I will remember. The description is not seen by your customers so you can put anything you want here. Next we'll put in our offer and we can choose to give our customers $10 off or 10% off. We can also choose to give our customers free shipping. And when we give away gift certificates to our One Choice customers, this is how we do it. Let's say we have a $100 gift certificate, and then under amount, we put $100. Next, go to minimum purchase. Minimum purchase is really good to use when you want to tell your customers you'll receive 10% off with every purchase of over $50. After that, you can choose whether or not to have an expiration date. When I'm giving out gift certificates, I like to use an expiration date of one year. Choose whether or not you'd like to include all items in your store, selected items, or if you want to just exclude certain items. Then click Update. You're done. You just created your first coupon. Now go out and share that coupon with the world and start increasing your sales today.